Somehow, you've got a giant bed, and it feels crammed into your small bedroom. What do you do? Let's talk about it. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. It's Pop Quiz Week on Roominess. We'll have four new episodes, bringing you straightforward steps to an inviting home. Also, you can get my ebooks for just 99 cents, this week only, over at roominess.tv. Check out Roominess TV on Instagram for daily pop quiz questions related to the videos. And click the subscribe button for more bite-sized decor advice. When your bed feels too big for your bedroom, it can seem like you really don't have any options. But let's look at how you can use scale and color contrast to improve the situation. Now, I want to point out in our example that we have three feet of space all the way around the bed. If you're buying a new bed, make sure you keep at least that much space to get around the room. I can help you cheat the visuals, but if you literally can't get around your bed, I can't help you with that. We're starting with a typical setup that has a bed, two nightstands, and two storage pieces. The first thing I'll ask is whether the color of the furniture can be adjusted. If you can decrease the contrast of bulkier pieces with the room, then the room will appear less crowded. Say, for instance, we have the option to either paint or find different storage pieces in white. This blends the storage pieces into the wall and helps create a sense of visual space. I also lined up the storage pieces rather than angling one in the corner. Your other video said we shouldn't do that. While I usually avoid lining up storage pieces, in a cramped room, I'd like to clear off one wall and just use the end walls as the storage. Another visual trick. Can you get anything off the floor? In this bedroom, the bedside tables are the easiest thing to swap out for floating shelves and sconce lamps. Now that they're off the floor, they can be black. Next, let's look more at the contrasts in the room. Here you can see I've pulled the colors of the bedding into the walls, sheer curtains, and rug. By decreasing the contrast of the bed to the rest of the room, you also decrease the visual impact of the bed. An easy trick to play with the size of the room is, of course, to add mirrors. Placed above the bedside tables, these give a different perspective on the room and allow the eye to wander outside the box. Another question to ask when your bed is too big for your room, can your clothing storage pieces live somewhere else? Could they go in a closet or in a spare bedroom? You might take a minute and consider how you're using your rooms. If we're making a fantasy house where the furniture can go in the other room, why don't we just make a bigger fantasy house? This next idea might seem a little counterintuitive, but you should find art and accessories that are in scale with your bed. I mean big. You can see I kept the contrast low by using the same color palette as the rest of the room. By creating an immersive feeling with larger art and accessories, the bed itself does not stand out as being too big. In the overall picture, you can see how the grid and linear elements of the floating side tables and the standing lamp pick up on the geometry of the bed and make it a theme of the room. Now let's compare to the room that we started with. I think you'll agree that the bed that used to overwhelm the space now seems much more at ease. But what if you couldn't move the storage pieces somewhere else? The room would lose a little bit of its cool factor, but by blending the storage pieces into the walls, the bed still seems much more in scale with the room. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. You should watch. It's short. I'll see you there.